You know, keep in mind, if this council wants to ban all political activity from city parks, then their own picnics that they put on in their neighborhood parks would have to be banned because they certainly are political. They're done to get themselves reelected. These color issues are ridiculous. You know, there's an old adage that the council should consider when they make these claims against the mayor. You know, be careful what you wish for. It may come back to bite you. Now, here, I want to show you some testimony of a couple of the key agitators against the mayor. The people that demanded this hearing, that brought these actions. Uh, let's look at uh, the testimony of a, a person by the name of Kate Fields and Alex Harris. Just the part where they say why they brought the action. Can you play that, please? Um, this is Fields. Are you aware of the city services being used for a public Now there you are. <laughs> These are the two main agitators. Kate Fields, Alex Harris. Neither one of them know anything themselves. They're testifying to hearsay, rumors, speculation, what they've heard. They both said it. They know nothing. What, what's going on down there? And even the testimony the people they were relying on turns out to be pure speculation. And would indicate there's nothing wrong. They do it all the time with people who rent parks. You can see they knew nothing. Their actions that prompted this hearing was based on speculation here and rumors and hearsay, like I said. Should anyone, even a fellow like the mayor, be exposed to such indignation, such inquisition, without any real facts of wrongdoing? As far as I know, it's still not illegal to be a poor public official. Now, having said all this, you know, Councilman Scott Kincaid pointed out a real fallacy in the hearing system that, in my opinion, pointed out that the procedure was gimmicked by the mayor and his people and the opposition, which really detracted from the purpose of the hearing and to have a clearly fair hearing. It detracted from that. I, you know, I only pointed out to show that 
both sides were participating in gamesmanship at the public at this public hearing at the public expense. Now, you know, here's Scott Kincaid's what I consider a very incisive question to the chair. Can you play that, please? Prior to the start of this hearing, did Mr. Kincaid share any testimony of any witnesses prior to you being sworn in with you while you were there at the room table? Mr. Robinson? Uh, yes. He did? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, with that, then my question is to you, to the attorney, is there's a purpose to sequester uh, witnesses. Oh, and, and prior.